Welcome to the world of Polytopia. I've played this game four times now. We're gonna go Domination. The first time I played it on easy, crushed it. Next time I played it on normal, crushed it. Next time I played it on crazy, which is a hard difficulty, absolutely crushed it. And then the next time I kind of overextended myself and this tribe over here had a bunch of bugs and this crushed me. Well, it was gonna be crushed. So let's go ahead and choose our tribe. I don't really know. Um, riding technology sounds pretty good because you get like the horseman or the rider and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Three opponents, crazy difficulty, obviously. So welcome to the world of Polytopia. Here is the map. And the way it works is basically you want to accumulate as many stars as you can per turn because stars are used for everything. They're used to buy units. They're used to get technologies. They're used to even harvest things on the map. So we can see around our capital, we have a couple of these fruits. So we can look at our tech tree. We actually need to get organization before we can actually harvest the fruit. Every time we harvest the fruit, we get one population. So what does that actually give us? You can see below the city, there are these two bars. Right now it's split into two. We need two population to grow to the next level. And the next level, we need like three, then four. It's, it goes up. But the good thing is every time you level up the city, there's some good bonus. Here, I want to explore the map as much as possible. Okay, there's an ancient tribe, which is like a tribal village in Civilization Six, Or actually, what well, looks like a tribal village. And this is how you actually get new cities. Is you go there, stay there one turn, and you capture the city. So what we're going to do off the bat is we're going to go for organization. The problems with getting additional cities, you can see the technologies when it's this first ring are five stars, then it's six, and then it's seven. Every time you get another city, the first ring goes up by one star, the second ring goes up by two stars, and the third ring goes up by three stars per city. So things can get pretty expensive as you go along. So now we have two stars. So we can see here we can harvest this fruit, and this will produce one population. And you can see we got one out of two. We need one more to actually do something. I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna get a city next turn. One of the, like some of the strongest technologies I found in this game or strongest things I wanna actually get is you wanna go for, there we go, we just leveled up. So you can get two things. You can get a workshop, get you one star per turn or explorer. Explorers just kinda explore the random kind of map around you. Depending on how many technologies you have unlocked, they'll be able to go above mountains or they'll be able to go through the water. We don't really know anything, but workshop is just kind of what you want to do. So therefore, instead of three stars return, our capital now produces four. So the next technology I probably want to go for is farming. Some other really good ones, I guess navigation. Navigation is just, I found out, it's the flat out best. If you have what are called giants we get later in the game and get them to be battleships, it's absolutely crazy. So let's go here and found our first city, our second city, as you will. We have zero stars, but next turn we can get four. We can harvest a couple things and grow it up and get a workshop right away. Let's go ahead and grow this thing. Boom, workshop. And next, I think we're gonna go for farming, the farming technology. Let's go ahead and figure out what's here for us. Oh, three population. That's good. So our capital leveled up. Now we have two choices, city walls or resources. City walls are definitely something you want on the edge of your empire if you have AIs kind of attacking you. it like increase your defense of your units in there quite a bit. Or we get five stars for free, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and grow our cities. There's probably another tribal village kind of over here. We can get another city. So let's go ahead and get farming. We have five stars. We can get literally one. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this farm. As what I'm thinking is if we go to the tech tree, we can get windmills. And they get one population for each nearby farm. So if we build it here, we'll get three population just for all three of these farms. Capital grew. Now is do we want border growth or do we want population growth? Okay, this isn't stay out of here. So normally border growth is kind of good. But honestly, if we look around our border, what would we get? We would get a couple of this normal sea tiles. And we'll actually be taking away from this populous city to the right over here. So I'm going to go for population growth. So we get three additional population. And now we only need two more to go to the next level and get our free giant. Get a nice farm here, and then go ahead and get a nice windmill. And let's go ahead, this one is right next to, oh, let's go for resources. <laughs> resources is just so good. And then we're gonna go for fishing before we found our next city and go ahead and capture this city. And we should obviously just go here, two population, but one farm, 
grows up, get a workshop right away. So good. Go like this. Boom. Grow our capital one more. And now we get our super unit. Oh, oh, oh man. Our giant. This thing is crazy. 40 health, 5 attack, 4 defense, 1 movement, 1 range. Absolutely insane. Yeah, so let's put our park here. Go ahead and grow this city. Get our 5 resources. And go ahead and grab this one. And grab this one. And this we're going to go for border growth. Yes. Oh, look at these whales. Whale hunting gets you 10 stars per whale. That's so good. And we'll have two of them right here. Go ahead and look at this neighbors. Oh. What is this thing? Three attack. Okay. You're not going to stand a chance with our battleship. Oh, man. We can go here. Let's go ahead and get a windmill. Almost up to our next giant. Oh. Oh, that was a trap. That was a trap. Let's go for navigation. And we'll go for a ship. We'll upgrade at 1. Battleships are 15, so we'll be able to get one next turn. Whoop. Capture this. And go ahead to... Okay, we have perfect amount of stars to actually do this. And get our workshop right away. They're probably going to take this unit over pretty easily. Yeah. I like moving back one. And it's going to the battleship here. And now this thing can just crush things. Yes. But we're going to go here and get another port. So now we get another giant super unit and now i have two nice really nice battleships and let's go ahead man i wouldn't actually mind going for chivalry i really like knights but shields are pretty good too boom up to 13 so now we can go like this go 12 for whaling and let's go ahead and harvest these things 10 stars now we're up to 21 Shields would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and research shields. And let's go ahead and buy one over here. And we can buy another one over here. Oh, look at this. Let's go ahead and put a shield guy in here. Let's go ahead and grow this farm. And there's another giant. We have 15 stars. That's so many. Let's go ahead and put a port here. I want to grow this city up. We put another port here. And let's go ahead and get... Border Growth is not essential here. You know, we only have... We'll only be unlocking two tiles to the north of it. So let's go ahead and go for population growth. And now two more, and then we can actually get... Another giant, I believe. So let's go here. Boom, super unit. Another giant. Yeah, they're coming at us. They're trying to come at us over here, but we have like a giant there. So, <laughs> you don't really stand a chance. But let's go ahead and upgrade this to a battleship. And start taking all these units. And now we have a shielded unit. Like, they didn't even defend their city. So weak. There is walls, and we have a shielded unit in there. Like, look at They're doing one. We are just crushing everybody. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, we can just go like this. Okay. Gate of power. Oh, look at this. Let's go here. And take this horseman out. Connect these two cities to the road. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so good. Let's go ahead and grow this city. Border growth is not going to do anything, so population growth it is. We only need two more. We have 17 stars. Three population. We could just put three population in our capital. Let's go ahead and put the gate of power up here. Another super unit. 
And then here we can just put another port. And then another super unit. <laughs> just crushing it. Just crushing it. Yeah, they're, as, as expected, they're kind of coming back here. But we have three giants over here. I'm just going to keep this one giant up here. To kind of defend everything around here. I'm going to work away with mathematics. To get catapults. Catapults are absolutely insane. You can see here. Four attack. They do like 10 damage units. Three range. But they no defense. So they're super weak. If they have like a, a knight or something come at you. This is what I like to see. How we destroy every unit around here. Look at our giant. It's just crushing everybody. Oh, look at that. They think they got their city. Oh, wait. Do they? Alright. We need to bring back one of our guys. There we go. And now we can go to the mathematics. Let's go ahead and go here. And buy a catapult and have it sit in the city. And it'll be able to attack everything around here. We do have 35 stars. Like, that's so many stars right now. Let's go ahead and start going for chivalry next. Oh, we have enough. Then we can get some knights next turn. They're trying to take, you know, back the city, but... We are... We have four giants over here. <laughs> and two of them are in battleships. Let's go like this. And now let's start buying some knights around here. Let's buy a bunch of knights. These things are pretty crazy. Next turn we'll have another city over here. I think we got all the techs we really want to get. I mean, Aquacism would be pretty good too. But let's go ahead and end the turn. They grew the city for us, but it didn't do anything. Thank you very much. Port, and let's go ahead and get this Grand Bazaar. Sure. Let's just get it here, get another super unit. Okay, we need to upgrade this thing now. Kind of put it in a bad spot. Oh. This is a civilization absolutely crushed me last turn. But they bow to us. Because we're doing six cities. Yeah, we're doing so much better. We're about to get seven next turn. So with these units, you can see they're connected. It's kind of hard to see. But if you kill this 20 health unit first... So you can see with this civilization, this is what I learned from getting crushed. This centipede is still is connected to this segment. So if you kill the centipede, the segment becomes a centipede with 20 health. So you want to kill the segments first. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Alright, let's go to end turn. Hopefully we got another one of their cities. We'll be able to actually probably wipe them out next turn. Oh, these two are fighting, which is great for us. Look at our military compared to the AI. Oh, these things. I hate these things. These things are super strong. And let's go ahead and capture the city. Another one of the cities for us. Whoops. I didn't want to move there. But we did. Let's go ahead and harvest this whale for 10 awesome stars. And we have 50 stars. We have so many stars. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Hopefully we can take over this city. They're coming for us. This, these blue guys, they shouldn't really be coming for us. Yeah, because they're like losing their own cities. But now, let's go ahead and use our catapult. Take this thing out. And we're going to recover for one turn here. Two health is so little. Holy smokes. This is great that they're fighting over here. Look at our army compared to everybody else. I should honestly focus on getting this city one, two, three, four more population. And that gives another giant. 
And let's go ahead and wipe this other civilization off the planet. Now it's ours. But let's go ahead now. We're going to take out these green guys next. Yeah, I mean, pff, that was a stupid attack. <laughs> oh, they're just suiciding their units into us. And look at that. Their capital is basically ours. Three battleships, boom. And let's put our giant in there. I'm going to move here, take out this... We can't really attack the shaman. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can do it. Another giant. Yes. So good. All right. Well, all of our giants are down here. And we got their capital. That's why I like the sea. So let's go ahead and take it over. Ooh, 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 yeah. There's probably, there might be another city down to the south. 42 stars. Like, I feel like we should be buying a ton of stuff. Like, just a ton of swordsmen and stuff every turn. Maybe some more catapults and stuff. And, you know, another knight. Why not? Oh, you're only one population from getting another giant. Okay, let's just go like this. Boom, another super unit. And I guess let's buy a knight up here. I mean, 45 stars. We have so many. Let's just buy some more knights. Buying knights from far away because they take forever to kind of get up over there. Okay, so I think we have enough of a force. Well, let's go ahead and take out this AI. Capture that city. They're all gone. Man, this was a lot of fun. We have some catapults around here. Let's just go here. Take this one out. Let's go and get this. Yeah. And now I'll put you in there. And it should be game now. They don't stand a chance anymore. Let's just go ahead and turn. Yeah, one unit, one health. What do they do? Nothing. All right. <laughs> 18,690 score. Let's see how many stars we got. No, we didn't get three stars. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode.